Hi everybody and welcome to the Truck King YouTube channel. If you are a regular YouTube viewer, you've already seen this truck a ton. That of course is the brand new Ram TRX. You've seen it run up the Ike Gauntlet fully loaded. You've seen it jump a little stream and then get set on fire. You've even seen us jumping it, although admittedly those weren't massive jumps. But today we are doing something that I don't think anyone on YouTube has done yet. We're taking the Ram TRX, we're burying it in the snow, and we're gonna see how it handles out here in the Canadian wilderness. Excited to keep going down the trail with this beast, but we have to start off with the walk around. So, what powers the TRX? This is a supercharged 6.2 liter V8 making 702 horsepower and 650 pound feet of torque, but don't call it a Hellcat. The name Hellcat is reserved for Dodge, so here in the Ram, it's just a big old V8, even though we all know what it really is. Now, our truck here today does have the optional graphics package on it, so it looks pretty cool, but every single TRX gets these standard beefy tow hooks in the front, plus you get the unique grill. And one thing I love to point out, the Ram logo up here, it's actually passed through, and that's because this V8 needs so much air. So let's keep rolling back here. Of course, you get big fender flares, and those are to accommodate the 35-inch Goodyear Wrangler Territory tires. Now, once again, our truck here today has the optional 18 inch wheels. They get some unique styling too. I think that looks nice. Plus these are beadlock capable. If you get the ring from Mopar, these can be real beadlocks. So as we roll back here, we also get the optional rock rails. Now, Ram kind of tries to make it a bit of a step. It's really, it's hard to get your foot onto it. So as a step, it's not great, but as a rock rail, it's excellent. And on this truck, you definitely want to have that protection. Now, as we go back again, big tires, big fender flares here in the rear end. Um, underneath this truck, the suspension is totally brand new, but we'll get into that as we go off-road more. Now we can look at the bed. And the question with a truck like this is, just because you bought the fun Ram, well, can it still work? And the answer is, kind of. Here today, we also have the optional bed-mounted spare tire. I think it's good if you're a hardcore off-roader because then you can get to your spare. But listen, if you want to work with your truck, it eats up most of your bed and makes it a bit more useless. Now the other things we have here which are handy, a spray in bed liner, LED lights back here in the bed, plus you get this rail system, and of course I should say if you want to pop that spare tire holder out of there, you can do that. I touched on the suspension, we've got to look at it closer here. So the thing that makes this truck so amazing is a set of Bilstein Blackhawk E-squared active dampers. The active part of that means that these things can change their damping levels on the fly. Plus this truck gets epic wheel travel up here in the front, 13 inches and 14 inches out back. The other area you're going to see a compromise when it comes to this TRX is with payload. So even though this truck can be rated up to 1,310 pounds, our truck as you see it here today gets a payload rating of 966 pounds. Now why is that? Well this truck you see here has every option, that huge sunroof, the rock rails, the spare tire holder, and all of that stuff adds weight. And when you add weight, you have to take it off of payload. So definitely something to be aware of with the TRX. All of those features add weight and they also drive up the price. Take a look inside of our TRX. This model you're looking at here is absolutely fully loaded. And now you can also look at the build sheet. Our TRX came with the technology group, advanced safety group, bed utility group, carbon fiber package, the level two equipment group, red interior accents, that huge sunroof, and a couple more options bringing the Fully loaded price up to $118,535 here in Canada. All right, folks, I know you're excited to see me go off-road, and we will do that in a second. But first, we're going to hook up our trailer here so I can show you the camera views. There's the rear, the rear wide, the front, front and to the top view, and then the hitching view. And there's Dad back there who just got it ready. And then you can hit that plus button to zoom in so that I'm able to put this hitch ball 
right on that pin. Now we're out here on the road and we want to see how this TRX works. So we've got our 7,000 pound trailer hooked up to the back and we're actually pretty close to the limit today. Um, this truck is, is rated for 8,100 pounds. Now generally we actually don't tow that close to the limit. The honest truth is that it's super cold and that the bulldozer wasn't going to start. So we couldn't pull those concrete blocks off even if we wanted to. But you know what, I wanted to get a good test in on this TRX anyway. Um, now I should also mention, sort of within the same vein, with a 7,000 pound trailer putting 700 pounds of tongue weight on the truck, that comes off of your payload rating. So yes, if you do the math, Dad and I in here, we're over the payload. And these are things you have to be aware of with a truck like this. You're always gonna get a low payload rating. So when it comes to working hard, you're a little bit limited. But we're out here anyway because we know in the real world people are going to do stuff like this. So finally, Dad, you're towing. How's she feel? This is the funny thing about a truck, and we've had these before, where that are specifically meant for high-speed off-road. Because of the setups of the suspension, they suck when they tow. Mm -hmm. Right now, this thing is hobby horsing like crazy. Yeah, you I feel, feel like, everything. I feel like it's a drunk dog. It's just <laughs> going, you know? Now, so I'm not even going to talk about the power. That's ridiculous. Of course, there's tons of power, but at the moment, it's more a question of how does it feel? It's pulling in a straight line. It's certainly handling the, the load, but it's just funny to think of this super truck. And when you put a trailer on there, it's uh, it's no bueno. Yeah, and I think you're right. It's confident feeling because it's so heavy, but it's just uncomfortable. I wouldn't want to tow like this for eight hours. Now, what do we actually have in here for towing? Well, we do have a tow haul mode, always appreciated. We do have a integrated trailer brake controller, and there's actually something brand new that Ram has introduced to the 1500 lineup, but it came first to the TRX, and that is trailer steering and we can show you how it works right here. Trailer steering ready. Shift to R, use knob to steal trailer. Okay, so you turn it on in park and then put it in reverse. Now you're on. Oh, now it's... There you go. It's going crazy. Oh, and then we got a... Ooh, look at this too. So that line there, I guess, is telling you which way you're steering. Oh yeah, that's cool. So it'll show you where the trailer's going and here it goes. Okay. Reposition. Um, yeah, the forward correction is still on you. The trailer steering system is still active now, though. So now put it in reverse and let's see if it stays on. Oh, sorry. Snowbank. Yeah, snowbank there. Yeah, see, it's still on. Cool. Okay. Until, that's the way until it should you be. until you turn it off, right? Yeah. Well, it makes sense because you're going to have to correct. Well, and how is it reacting? Is it reacting as quickly as you want it to? Yeah, it's not bad actually. I mean, look at the steering wheel for God's sake. Yeah, it's working it. And I think the other thing we need to mention is you didn't have to do anything. We didn't have to input any lengths into the truck. We didn't have to put any stickers on. This RAM system is entirely plug and play. Jump in, hit the button, and it will start working for you. And that is because this truck is able to measure your trailer on its own. It has sensors that will tell you how long the trailer is, and once it knows the length, it knows uh, how to back it up. You do have to modulate the accelerator on your own, so. Yeah, accelerator and brake still up to you. There's still some work involved. That's yeah, not bad. So another technology that arrived first here in the TRX, but is spreading throughout the Ram lineup, is this digital rear camera mirror. I think the idea here is that it gives you a wider range of vision than normal. It's a bit funny to get used to. It took me some time, but uh, I like it now. I don't know, how do you feel about it, Dad? Well, the one thing it's good for is if you got people in the back seat, you can't see through their heads. Yes, absolutely. Or cargo in the bed, right? Or you got a big tall barrel. Stuff that you got jammed in the back there. So this does see past that because that camera's way up on the roof in the chimsel. So it's uh, it's looking down. And uh, why not? Yeah. And I think the key with all these, if you don't like it, turn it off. Regular mirror again. You're good to go. And one other little tidbit on the topic of mirrors. I love that here on the passenger side I have a spot mirror, but on the driver's side there's also a little spot convex mirror. I don't understand why more automakers don't put little spot mirrors on both sides, and it's nice to see that Ram did it. All right, Dad, I want to uh, include a little bit more comedy in our videos. So I was thinking we'd show them what the fuel economy is now after towing our trailer. <laughs> 
Wait for the camera to focus there. So, we did 20 kilometers and we burned 26.7 liters per hundred. I'm sure we're telling you something you've already guessed, but this big V8 is very thirsty. And for argument's sake, we gotta show you what the unloaded fuel economy is. So we just drove from the cottage back to my house. We did 100 kilometers and we managed 20.2 liters per hundred. Significantly better than the trailer, but I think it goes without saying, you cannot drive this thing without sucking up a ton of fuel. Alrighty folks, it's time for our zero to 60 run. We've got our trailer on. This should be the quickest one ever, I hope. Hit it then. So traction control kicked in. <laughs> Feels quick. Boom. <laughs> that was a 10.4. 10, 10. 0 to 100. Oh, jeez. That's many seconds quicker than our quickest truck ever. And it spun off the line and had to actually cut your power. If you had a smoother takeoff, you could probably get a couple seconds quicker. Okay, folks, we are going to try one more time. Like I mentioned, Dad floored it. It instantly lost traction and then cut the power with traction control. So this time we're going to try to just roll on the power a little bit more delicately. See if we can't get more out of it. This is testing Dad's drag racing skills. Wait for it. Come on, find the satellites. Ready. Oh, better take off that time. Nicely done, Dad. 9.5 seconds. Sweet. Nicely done. Sweet. That's gonna stay on the leaderboard a long time. I think you're right. You sure the trailer's still back there? <laughs> Alrighty, folks well it's time to head into the snow in the TRX now we have broken these trails with the Wrangler and the Forerunner and my dad's been down already on our ATV <laughs> but there's still a lot of snow out here so far so good and it goes without saying probably but when you're driving in deep snow like this or off-road anywhere it's all about the tires so these Goodyear Wrangler territories they are M plus S rated that's mud plus snow and so far they're feeling really good actually my only other super initial impression here right off the bat this truck is big <laughs> it feels so big on these trails I mentioned the Wrangler and the Forerunner those things felt so good out here so right size this truck is built for wide open desert spaces not necessarily the forests of southern Ontario <laughs> but so far this T-Rex is just chugging through now another thing I'm gonna be interested in is which drive mode works best for us today so there's a number of drive modes here on the TRX and you can see here I'll show you the shot as you walk through the drive modes it's telling you what all of the different parameters are so what the transmission is doing what the paddle shifters are doing now there is a snow mode here, but of course snow mode is about on-road driving. Snow mode is about giving you, um, you know, really smooth acceleration and it also cuts your power because they don't want wheel spin and that's not what we want today. So I've actually got it in mud and sand mode because that's going to give me maximum power and wheel spin. So far, so good. Oh, and if you're wondering, hey, when you're in Baja mode and it's rear bias, can you do donuts? Well, dad confirmed that for us. <laughs> it's snowing! That was a good one. It's snowing! <laughs> so we're not the only ones doing some off-roading out here today. Uh, if you're wondering, that's moose tracks. Moose aren't dumb. They're gonna follow any road they can. Easier than walking in the bush. There it is. That's it, guys. Momentum. Oh, come on, baby. 
Now the snow makes this even trickier because I know there's rocks and ruts and divots underneath, but heck if I can see them. So I'm driving by memory <laughs> and somewhat in the ruts of the last two we had through here. Oh man, when you put your foot into it, there's so much power here though. That's unbelievable. Even feeling a bit stuck there, I just gassed it and the thing just jumps. Okay, so far so good here on the trail. Now we are gonna go through the mud section, which hopefully will not be very muddy, <laughs> and then up the hill. And uh, the tires have been doing good, but like I said, you need your momentum out here today. So I'm going and I'm not stopping. Come on, baby. <laughs> Once again, the power that's here is just enormous. I'm just in four high, no low necessary. I'm on the ice now. I don't think I broke through. Keep it up. Oh, come on, TRX. Man, this thing is so big. I'm coming up the hill now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, power! Nope. Nope. I just couldn't get enough momentum. I could not build up enough speed. And my right passenger is very close to a tree. Like, very close. All right, folks, we've repositioned. I'm not gonna let this hill beat me, at least I'm gonna try not to. Um, I've got a better line this time, and hopefully I can build up a bit more momentum. Now, I've said this a lot, I have to say it again, this truck is huge out here. I have not felt so tight on these trails in any other vehicle. I'm coming closer to trees. I don't love it, but I wanna get through, so here we go. Come on, TRX, build me up a bit of power. There's a log right there that I'm hooking on. Come on, stupid log. Oh man, ugh. All right folks, uh, we are getting close to admitting defeat here, because this truck is just so heavy and it's so big and in this space I cannot build up any momentum. Uh, but we're trying one more thing, we're gonna use all the tricks in the book. We've gone in before low, I've got the axle locked. Um, it wasn't locked initially when I ran in here, I'm sure, I know it should have been, but it wasn't, so now, we are using every trick in the TRX's book. I don't, like I said, really don't think it's gonna make a big difference, but we're gonna try. Cause I don't like saying it didn't work. All right, so now she's in four low. Rear axle locked. And we've gone back and forth a few times to try and build. Try and build a runway. And we're still not getting anywhere. I'm just too nervous about that freaking tree back there, but it's so close. It actually felt a lot better for a low. Yeah, well, back it up again. You, you're too far to the right. All right. Watch your mirror. Yeah. That's one good thing about foldable mirrors. Yeah. Right, right here. Oh. We're on a limestone hill. And that's just not happening. That's got nothing to do with power. Here's where people who think 700 horsepower will do anything. It's not about the horsepower. So? Well, we tried every trick in the book and this TRX will not take on that hill. And I mean, the reason's obvious, isn't it? Look at all this snow. Plus it's actually kind of warm out here today. So things are getting a little soft, a little wet. And back there at the back, we're into the mud. So it's not like we're actually on top of the ice. We've broken right through. This truck is so heavy that I just can't build up that momentum that I need. Um, and, and not only is it heavy, but it's big. Now our trail here is fairly wide, but uh, it doesn't feel very wide when you're driving this thing. So all of that means we're a little scared to damage it. And uh, yeah, more than that, I just, I don't think it's getting up there, even with all the tricks. So we got to turn around and go back the way we came, which is never ideal, but I'm sure we'll get her out. And you can see where we broke through here. This is, this is normally a mud hole, and apparently, underneath all that snow, it's still soft enough. So we're still stuck right now. Wasn't happy with Steve, so I, I gave him a timeout. 
Now I'm going to work at getting the hell out of here. Without damaging anything. Okay, Dad's driving the truck now, and I'm sure he's telling you some silly reason why he's driving. The truth is that he's a little cold out here. I'm letting him warm up, and I'm letting him try to get the TRX out of this mess that I got it into. Yeah, you look good. Backing things out off-road is never ideal. Okay, straighten up. Straighten up. Straighten the tires. It's no good when your driver doesn't listen to his spotter. There you go. She's doing it. And like Dad said, I mean, 702 horsepower is great, but out here, you just end up spinning and breaking traction so quickly. Just watch your front end swing. I'd go straight back. Yeah, straight back, straight back. Now cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Ah. You'll get it on the next one. Nice! And that's how you turn around a TRX. So any initial thoughts after getting this sucker out of there? It's too big in here. <laughs> big and heavy, huh? Yeah, 700 horsepower or not, it's just, it's too bad and big. of this video. Now I never thought I'd be saying this, but we found the limit of this TRX today and that limit basically comes along with three and a half to four feet of snow. Now besides that of course, this truck is unbelievable. I really do believe this is the world's first super truck and if you do have wide open spaces to play in, it's absolutely perfect. Plus out there on the road, it just makes a monster of a pick. So everybody, that's it for this review. Now, of course, I want to hear what you guys think of the TRX, so please go below, leave us a comment. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, hit join to become a member of the channel, and then come right back here to Truck King to see what we're testing next. And if you'll excuse me, I got plenty more driving to do. See ya! Oh, and one more thing. When I got off the trail with the TRX, I looked over at Big Green, my 1985 Chevy K10, and I wondered, would my truck take on the left hook today? Well, we went out and found out. So in tomorrow's video, we are going to take Big Green out, hit the same trail, and see if it can prevail where the TRX got stuck. Make sure you stay tuned.